What's good, y'all? And welcome to my thoughts and opinions on EA's press conference for Star Wars, for, not, for EA's E3 press conference. So, overall, I really enjoyed this press conference. I, I've i seen a lot of videos where like, oh, this was just a poor fest. This is like, oh, this was just like an appetizer. E3 actually begins today, because, you know, Microsoft and Bethesda's conferences are today, but... I still really enjoy this uh, press conference. So, yeah. Um, let's begin. Okay, we start off with this press conference with, like, you know, the sports game. I believe it starts off with Madden or FIFA. Uh, the Ma Madden, we saw some more of that where there's a new story mode called, like, I believe it's called, like, The Longest Yard. Or the Long... I think it was something yard. I, I, I forget what it's called, but overall... But it's pretty much like the storm like highlight with Alex Hunter and uh, FIFA 17. This game's now also right on the Frostbite engine. And, you know, it's interesting. Am I personally going to play it if I pick up this year, man? No, because well, like, well, cause I, when I play sports games, I don't play them for like, their single player, like, you know, story modes. I don't really mess around with that stuff. I just play, you know, franchise mode or 2 case case my league. Uh, that, yeah, that, that's just me. FIFA, more of, we got some, uh, they're gonna continue Alex Hunter's storyline. So, yeah. And, uh, NBA Live HC. Which also, there was surprisingly no hockey, like, no NHL game. I was showing you, but, anyway, let's get to NBA Live HC. And we saw some more, we saw some gameplay of NBA Live HC where they announced this new story mode called The One. Yes, The One. Well, you're no way, no, you're no way, sounds like the Matrix. You're pretty much, you create your character, you go through, like, talk, you go through and you get to the league, and then you could now, one minute to about you have, there's the league mode of it, well, they're not the league mode, the, um, the league version of it, where you can, like, play in the league, you know, play through, like, the teams, like, the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Bulls, the, the you know, the, the Bulls, the Lakers, the, the Warriors, blah, 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 blah. And then those are the stream where you can play in, like, in, like, you know, um, um, in, like, a, in, like, parks, you know, like, on the street, like, doing quick pickup games, like, you know, play on Rucker Park, and other, like, basketball, and, like, other, like, street basketball, uh, basketball parties, like, unlock, you know, like, new shoes and such to, like, I guess, give you attributes for when you're back in the league mode, and apparently the mode's also gonna be co-op, which looks interesting, which is interesting. So, yeah, that's gonna be um, interesting to see. <clears throat> Like I said, guys, now if I'm gonna put play, nope. Like I said, guys, I don't play for store mode. No, I'm not really that good at it. I played, my, I played my career back in like NBA 2K10 a long time ago just for just to see how the mode was, and I got my ass handed to me. I had no idea what I was doing when I played it. So yeah, see, I'm not very good at him either. But yeah, um, um, another great, another thing that what well, they showed up was uh, way a way out, which was. Very, very, very interesting. It's pretty much like it's now. It's now it's a co-op game, but it's not. Well, it's not like a single player. You can play this game single player or co-op. It's forced co-op. Like you gotta play this with your. You gotta play this with like your friend or your brother, or your sister on your couch or uh, or via you know online. Now the game itself looked very interesting. It's pretty much prison break. The video game, pretty much, where you're like you and some other guy who have their own reasons for like wanting to break out the prison. Um, they want to break out the prison, so they work together to break out the prison. Which is, and one of the interesting is that there's always gonna be that divide, go like that split screen divide, where like you do might yours on one side and your other players on the other side. But I, if you saw my reaction, you know how I would probably be a little disorienting uh, for the player. Like, cause, I mean, everyone who's played Call Gun, there's always been those moments where you like look at the other screen, look at the other, and you look at your other screen, you forget that's on your screen, so you get dis disoriented a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure we've all had that moment when we were playing Call Gun games like our brothers or our friends back in the day. But yeah. Um, what else? But the game itself looks very interesting. Um, they almost gave me a sort of four vibes off of that game when they played it from the gameplay thing because it looks like it's right on the same engine, or at least it looks very similar to Uncharted Four. But yeah, it looks. I'm very much looking forward to this game. Um, the co-op angle where actually even if you play the game online, there's still gonna be a split, so you guys always know where each other player are. And one thing I love about this game is like some other player can be in a cutscene while like, you're over there doing like your prison chores or you know walking around with something in a prison. So uh, there are lots of cutscenes, so you can be like doing some other shit uh, while they're busy. You know, you can go in there, you now you distract somebody or something. Which I like that. I like that. I like how this is definitely probably one of the most unique and probably innovative games I've seen in some time. 
Um, but yeah, that looks very interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see more of the end. I hope it, and I hope it comes out. And I hope, and I can't wait to see it come out. Hopefully, there's a demo for it. But yeah, as I mentioned, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna play with my baby, with like my brother, one of these days. Okay, now what else? Uh, um, hmm. oh yeah, uh, can't think of any other games or words before the, before I start talking about the Star Wars Battlefront. Um, okay, um, actually I think I'll talk about that after I talk about Star Wars Battlefront. Okay, now Star Wars Battlefront 2. We saw some gameplay of that, and it looks amazing. Like... Wow! Like, uh, I mean, the droids in this game look excellent. The droids look excellent. Like they, even, like you know, with the Roger, Roger. <laughs> yeah, the droids look interesting. I mean, is it just fair? Do they look better than they did in the movies? Because while I was watching the trail, while I was watching the, the Thurman gameplay of the multiplayer, I was, I was like, is it just me? Is this or the droids and the clones look better than they did in the films? Well, I guess what happens when you see 2003 CGI. But yeah, the CGI was excellent. It was nice seeing Darth Maul. You know, Darth... <sighs> Excuse me. <clears throat> seeing Darth Maul. You know, him going... You know, like, he looks fast. Like, I can't wait to play as Darth Maul. He is going to be... He's going to be so much fun to play as. We also see that you're going to have, like, cross-era... Matches were by, I mean, you could have, like, say, like, clones and droids fighting, but you could have heroes from, like, you know, the prequels and the, and the original trilogy and the sequel trilogy. So you could have, like, you know, you could have Boba Fett and Darth Maul going against Rey. Like, I was like, yes, this is gonna be, I don't care if this doesn't even make any sense, the content of the movies, but I don't care. I can't wait to see these, so we can get, like, so we can get the dream match we always want, so we can see, like, Darth Maul versus Vader. So we can see Darth Maul versus Vader, who would win in a fight. That's, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, um, the gameplay is still very interesting. Um, they also brought in the class system. Uh, for me, so you know, you're not always having the same build, being either just, you know, one type of stormtrooper and one rebel. So yeah, that's going to be interesting, and what else? Also, they didn't show up that, um, one... Star Wars game that was developed by they didn't show the Star Wars game that was developed by Respawn or the Dead Space developers. What were their names? Uh, what was their name? Um, whatever. Oh yeah, it was um. Uh, fuck, I can't think of it. Whatever. Whatever that just said, um, the whoever those developers were, I forget, I forget their names, what were their names? Shit! Uh, uh, whatever. But yeah, the gameplay itself, we also saw some, um, oh yeah, there was also, uh, Battlefield 1. Uh, we saw some more of that, we saw um, the developers, uh, we saw that actually they are planning that they announced a new expansion pack coming out called, I think it was like the Rise of the Tsar, but this cover is focusing on Russia. And also, Trench Warfare is coming out. And we're also going see Trench Warfare in this game, and also as well as, as uh, Night Maps. Uh, night Maps. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. And, um, so yeah, that, so if you're in the Battlefield 1, um, you're probably gonna, you'll probably probably love those. Uh, me, personally, I haven't played Battlefield 1. Um, I played the open beta when that came out on my PS4, and I enjoyed it. The game was fun to play. Wish... I wish, you could, I wish we could go into, like, something that wasn't desert, we can go into, like, some trench warfare, but for the reason my control would always lock up sometimes when I played the beta. I think that's probably just a glitch. But, yeah. Um, what else? What is this, baseball? <laughs> uh, um, yeah. So, overall, so, yeah. Uh, the Battlefront game looks really, really, really good. I'm very much looking forward to the, the Battlefront, um, uh, not Battlefront, um, Battlefield, uh, yeah, Battlefield 1, uh, trailer. Also said they're going to announce some more of that game at, um, July, so I think, I believe at Gamescom, we're going to see more of that game. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Uh, Gamescom, see more of the Battlefield, um, night maps and such. So, yeah. 
Visceral. Their name was uh, Visceral, which I believe one of the lead riders that left one of the lead riders of the Atari series that left Naughty Dog was riding the game, if I remember correctly. So yeah, Visceral's game we did that was completely absent. We didn't act like it didn't even exist. It just kind of just swept it under the rug. So we'll hopefully see more of that maybe at Microsoft's press conference. I am hoping that we do see it there. I'm hoping. I'm legit. I am really hoping we can see because I am because if you saw my last my live reaction, you would know how pissed off I was that we didn't see the game at all. I was like, I'm legit fucking pissed off by that. So, yeah. And then um, so we did play the original two, the original Battlefront game done, done by uh, Radical. Uh, what were those developers' names? Um, was it Radical? Let me look it up real quick. Pandemic. It was Pandemic that developed the first two games. That's what the developers were. Um, Pandemic. Yeah, I did see um, Pandemic. I did play Pandemic's game off of my 360 when they because they were backwards compatible. Uh, those were one of the backwards compatible Xbox games that were compatible with 360. I played those games. I really enjoyed them. See, so, yeah, they. I'm glad they're bringing back the class system to you know differentiate the the player so they know have different like play, the clones or droids they can play as. Uh, to, you know, no, like to make it, I guess. You know, different instead of them having to be just be like one stormtrooper or one rebel trooper. That's, that's gonna be uh, awesome to see. Also, guys, they also announced that actually in the first batch of DLC we're gonna get Finn and Captain Finn, which will be completely free. And they also announced that the, that the rest of the, all the DLC, all the maps, all the characters, all the power ups, I think as well. I, I know maps and characters. That's all gonna be completely free. Yeah, so there's not gonna be any season. So not gonna be a single season pass for this game. There's only gonna be um, that there's only gonna be, you know, free DLC. Now, I don't know if that includes now. Maybe they'll probably also have some expansions for this game, which I'll probably have to pay for. But, but I'm I'm a little concerned by that because if there's no season pass, if all the DLC is free, how bad are the microtransactions in this game? Because the last thing I need is having everything be locked behind a paywall. I really hope that I really hope this goodwill that EA has finally given us does not wind up does not wind up backfiring on us, or we get like screwed over with like microtransactions. Let's hope that let's hope that's not the case. We can pray that that's not the case. Oh uh, yeah, the gameplay still was excellent. I, I mean I already said, but oh my god, the game the game looks so good. The droids, Roger, Roger. <laughs> the droids were on the house, droids, the storm, the clothes, everything was. Ah, oh, it was amazing, guys. It was amazing. It was amazing. I cannot wait to play this game. I cannot wait to play this game. But I have to ask, guys, why was everybody all up in arms when this game got announced to get season pass? COD has had season passes. Battlefield has had season passes. Yet I don't think NLC anybody complaining about those. Have they just accepted those two, those two game series or what? Because I mean, everyone was all up in arms. Everyone was losing their shit over Battlefront getting season passes. Nobody's complaining about COD or Battle. Field, but yeah, I mean, but then again, why is everyone complaining about Team Passes? You can just buy the DLC separately. You can just buy it for five or ten dollars. Someone's forcing you to buy the Team Pass. You can just buy the DLC separately if you want. If you don't want it for free, I never understood that. Like, why is everybody go you know, losing their shit over this when you can just buy it separately? It's not like this shit's like locked to the season pass. Because it's not. You can just buy the season pass separately, or not, or you can just buy the DLC separately. I just pay, you know, five or ten bucks for the expansion. So, yeah, I see no problem with season passes, but, you know, uh, whatever. To each his own. Uh, but Need for Speed. We haven't talked about Need for Speed. I almost forgot about that game. Need for Speed looks... Um, Need for Speed Payback looks amazing. I am so picking this game up. I also saw... I, actually, one thing I forgot... One thing that I found uh, weird was actually I saw, um... Vicarious... Not Vicarious, I'm... Uh... Uh, Pro Jareth, uh, video on this topic. He did, uh, his own, like, 30 minute long video talking about the, uh, press conference. The E3 press conference, uh, EA's. And he was talking about how the gameplay didn't look real for the E3 speed because, you know, it had those camera angles that can burn out. Where, you know, you crash into a car and you got the slow motion camera the car, like, you know, moving and, like, after, like, it reacts to the crash. And I'm like, dude, have you never played anything? Oh, the gameplay doesn't look real because of that. 
Dude, have you never played a burnout game in your life? I mean, that's what that whole series was about. Crashing into the car and seeing curl angles. Even Batman Begins, uh, back in 2005, had that in there with, like, the, when you play this, when you play, when you drive the tumbler. If you crash into a car, you saw these cool, like, camera angles. Um... Of like the car react to the crash, and then you can go back right back in the game, and you're bam. You're not like, and you're not about to like crash into a tree. So it's the you're still completely in control. You still gotta look at your ass. I think the game actually stops, and before you get the car, before you're like back in your car. But yeah, that's something that's just weird I noticed. And all that was about me shaking my scratch my head was those people that when EA was like, we can play this all three eras, you know, the prequel trilogy, the sequel trilogy, and the original trilogy. Everyone was telling me, like, you can, like, play all three eras in the game, you know, you can have, like, cross, uh, you know, era matches, like, you know, with a hero, but yet nobody was talking about, but yet the overpublic was nowhere mentioned at all. Now, granted, I don't think the overpublic is even canon anymore, but still, I mean, you can't see, like, we can play in all three eras that you completely forget about the overpublic. I mean, I would like to see a Battlefront game with the overpublic in it. I mean, that'd be, that would be interesting to see a lot, though. That would be interesting to see, but I'm not going to lose any sleep. I don't really care. It doesn't mean I just kind of know that you're not playing all three arrows, except the Old Republic. Because that game, because that's technically not canon anymore, so it doesn't exist. <laughs> but yeah, uh, overall, this press conference, I... Wait, am I missing anything else? Yeah, no. Overall, I really, really enjoyed the press conference. I will give it about an 8 out of 10. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, the sports stuff didn't take much time, but for someone like me, I don't, I don't, I mean, I'm more of a casual mental I find, so I, I like, watch the sports stuff and be like, oh, cool, nice. And I see that Ronaldo's on the cover of this year's game, of uh, FIFA, and after there, although, can someone tell me about, like, those guys, in, the men in blousers, uh, the, bla the blazers, I should say, the guys in blazers, you know, those, uh, two guys that were on there, they had great chemistry, they, they introduced, uh, FIFA, and I, are those guys, like, YouTube personalities that talk about football, or are they, like, or are they on, like, the British Broadcasting Network or something? Because all those kids were, like, I was like, and they had, because they had, like, some, they had Mellow with them at one time, but yeah, they had some good chemistry, and they were talking about FIFA, it wasn't as, it wasn't really that awkward, I think they had some good chemistry, although they missed a high five, I think they, I think they did that on purpose. But, yeah, uh, overall, yeah, an 8 out of 10, I will give this, uh, press conference, um, looking forward to seeing Microsoft press conference, uh, today, as well as Bethesda's at 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, sheesh, why is it so late? I don't know why my words are, Bethesda, well, who do you think you are, putting your press cards at 9 p.m. Pacific time? Thank God I live in California, so I'd have to wait until so I don't watch this until midnight if I was living in, like, Virginia. If I was still living in Virginia. Uh, anything else? Let me, is there anything else I need to talk about? Yeah. So, way it looks very interesting. I am so hyped to see more of Anthem at Eve at, um, at, um, by, at, um, um, at a Microsoft press conference. Because, I, 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 man, that game definitely reminds me a lot of, like, you know, the Division, and not the Division. Destiny makes with Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan say, because, you know, they say, like, the wall is to protect us. The wall is our last line of defense. The wall, the wall, because, you know, like, while Mario, while Cena, and while, uh, while Rose, if you see Attack on Titan, you know about how the wall is protecting the humans from the Titans. I swear to God, Titans are in this game. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose my shit if I, if I start seeing Titans. But, yeah, overall, but, yeah. I'm saying overall. Uh, the yeah, anthem looks real good. Can I wait to see more of that at a, a, a Microsoft press conference? Because they said they're going to show a full gameplay reveal at a Microsoft press conference. So we're going to see what Project Dylan has in store for us this year. It's probably not going to come out. I'm, I, didn't, I believe the game actually ended up getting delayed until 2018, I believe. So we're not going to see it. Or 29, so yeah. Uh, there was no mention of Mass Effect and Dramas, so it doesn't look like we're going to get any DLC for that game at all. They're probably, EA's probably just trying to, like, distance themselves from that as much as they possibly can. Uh, anything else? Mm. Oh, yeah, they also, I don't think they also did that with, like, uh, you know, showing the, like, full gameplay reveal of Mass Effect. They also did the same thing for, um, Battlefield 1. When that game got revealed... Um, well, they show the gameplay, you know, like, the Rise of the Czar, you know, the snow, the, the night maps, they showed, they also said that we're gonna show more, more of, like, a, the new game mode, and more of that in July, so we're gonna see more of that at Gamescom. So, yeah, that'll be interesting to see uh, more Battlefield 1 Gamescom, but, yeah, the Battlefront 1, that Battlefront 2 gameplay was so fucking amazing, I cannot wait to see more of that game. Yeah.
And all the DLC's free. That's going to be... I really hope that doesn't wind up backfiring on us on our end. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please leave a like if you did. And as always, subscribe for more. See you guys next time.